I'm going to tell a story about the first person I had to block on Etsy. There's Rant Corner. So, I got an order for a dog collar, right? And I make them out of paracord, so they're non-adjustable, obviously. And it was just for the normal knot or whatever. Anyway, uh, they ordered it, but they didn't tell me the length. Uh, so I messaged them, and they were like, uh, they didn't respond for a while. Hang on, I think I actually, I think I actually have the screenshots. Let me find the screenshots. That'll make it better. I can just read you the whole conversation. It won't be annoying at all. Okay, I found it. So, they made the order, and the way it works is Etsy gives you two drop-downs, and then any other details you have to, like, message the seller, but when you check out, there's a little note box that lets you put whatever details in. So, they picked green and black for the collar colors, which, great, perfect, but they didn't message me the length or the buckle or the D-ring that they wanted. So, I messaged them, all professional-like, and I said, Hello, thank you for your order. What length in inches, I put that in parentheses because I need inches, uh, what length, D-ring style, and buckle color slash size would you like? Because I offer a bunch. That was June 1st. And then, June 4th rolls around. And I said, please respond with details so I can make your order. And then June 6th rolls around, six days after they ordered. So, like, literally the day I need to ship this. Uh, and I said, if you don't respond with details, oh, my shipping time must have been longer. I think it was five to seven days back then. Because I said, if you don't respond with details for your order by this Friday, I will unfortunately have to refund your order. And they responded like two hours later and said, medium and green and black. Um, <laughs> so they said medium for the size and then reiterated the green and black for the paracord colors. But they... I need a length. Specifically, I put in inches so that way people know that they have to give me an actual length. And they still didn't tell me what D-ring or buckle. So, uh, I responded to that and I said, what length would you like? That was June 7th. And they didn't say anything. And then June 8th, I said, what length would you like? <laughs> Literally again. And then June 8th, they responded and said, medium. I had already put all, I had already put all that info when I ordered. If I don't get that collar soon, I will, be, I will be putting in a complaint and never ordering from your site again. Like I own Etsy. <laughs> so... Uh, I responded like 15 minutes later and said, medium is not a length. You have to provide a length in inches as specified on the listing. And they said, I don't know the inches of his damn neck. Just send one you think is a medium or fucking refund my order. Done dealing with this. And I said, <laughs> I said, I am issuing a refund. I advise that in the future you read item descriptions before placing orders. And they said, I did, you asshole. I put one inches. I thought it would be plus the colors. If you would have read the shit, I would have gotten it by now. I will never order from your damn website again. Like, first of all, you didn't tell me the buckle color. You didn't tell me inches anywhere in that conversation. And you, uh, you did not tell me the D-ring. So you didn't give me, you gave me two details I needed, which was the colors of the paracord and nothing else. And I don't own Etsy. Etsy's not my website. 
<laughs> which is great. If I owned the website Etsy, whew, I would be rolling in dough and I would not have to deal with people like that. <laughs>